Hello friends, welcome to Brain Amplifier and our today's topic is harmonics. This will be a series of lectures which will be dealing about various aspects of harmonics. So in the first video, we will be dealing about uh, the basic things about harmonics. So to start with the definition, harmonics, a sinusoidal component of a periodic wave or quantity having a frequency that is an integral multiple of the fundamental frequency. So what does it mean? Suppose I have some <coughs> sinusoidal waveform. So only those waveforms, suppose I have the frequency 50 hertz for this waveform or 60 hertz. So only those waveforms which have a frequency of integral multiple of this 50, maybe 100, maybe 150, 200, only those will be called harmonics. If I have some uh, waveform having a frequency 110 or 125, that will not be called harmonic. Okay, Those will be called with some other names but not the harmonics of this okay so the, uh, only the waveforms having integral multiple frequencies of this fundamental uh, okay the original frequency will be called fundamental frequency okay and all these multiples suppose uh, multiplied by 2 <coughs> this will be called second harmonics multiplied by 3 this will be called third harmonic Okay, so uh, uh, like this, there will be various harmonics by, by 4, 4th harmonic, 5th harmonics up to n. Okay, the question arises, uh, what causes harmonics? Okay, what are the different causes of harmonics? So, friends, harmonics are caused by, <coughs> the basic cause of harmonics are nonlinear loads. Okay, so what are the nonlinear loads? Suppose I have some load which I am giving ac input to that load okay my input is this ac but my output is not ac maybe some rectifier i am dealing with some change of waveform so maybe the output of my rectifier may be like this okay or i may be using a cycloconverter something like which is uh, changing my frequency okay so in if anyhow i am changing my input frequency input waveform to any other kind of waveform maybe by changing the frequency maybe by changing the amplitude of waveform so i am giving ac voltage input but the output is not ac maybe dc i am rectifying it or doing any kind of things so what i am doing i am actually polluting my waveform so in the in the maybe this is r phase i am giving ac supply but in my return neutral <coughs> i'll not be getting pure ac okay instead i am getting some polluted waveform maybe of any shape so what this cause this will cause production of harmonics and what mr fourier said mr fourier said that you give me any kind of waveform okay suppose this is my waveform i'll convert it into the summation of one dc waveform plus uh, in the form of sinusoid sine and cosine okay <coughs> This is Mr. Fourier said that you give me any waveform, my return waveform may be in any form, uh, you, you will convert it into a DC component, a sinusoid component or, and a cosine component. So ultimately in the final waveform, we will be finding that it contains, with the if I am giving fundamental input, my output waveform will be con containing second harmonics, third harmonics and harmonics up to nth. Okay, so the basic cause of harmonics is non-linear loads non linear loads loads uh, in which i am giving ac voltage input but output current is not uh, uh, ac okay maybe static power converters variable frequency drives okay uh, ups uninterrupted power supplies smps in which i am uh, changing voltage as well as frequency okay and maybe vfds or uh, maybe power converters okay uh, suppose uh, my uh, i'm using a laptop or mobile phone my laptop uh, i'm changing the normal sinusoid waveform in multiple frequencies for the processor and lot many things so what i'm doing i'm actually actually polluting my original waveforms so these things cause harmonics okay if i am polluting my original sinusoid waveform in any kind in the return path i'll get polluted waveform okay and that polluted waveform mr fourier said that polluted waveform can be represented in the form of summation of a dc plus sine plus 
cosine and those sine and cosine will be uh, thus will be made of fundamental uh, frequency second third and up to n harmonics okay now what are the effects of harmonics what are the effects of harm harmonics now you can understand if in the i am giving in my phase wire in my phase wire i am giving normal sinusoid waveform okay but this will be in the phase wire but if in the return wire i am ge getting fundamental plus second plus third so what these things will cause these things will cause excessive heat in my neutral current what these things will cause excessive heat we'll understand how these things heat up the neutral wire in further lectures okay again due to all these things due to excessive heat my life of the equipment will reduce okay equipment life will deteriorate other effects uh, the things will get hot and this will cause stress in the cables and all those uh, negative things will happen except that the presence of harmonics will also mean that although you will get built to the power that you are supplied large percentage of that power may be unusable okay due, due to that pollution your you will be getting some unusable power your power factor will reduce okay poor power factor mm. and uh, one important topic i'll discuss one important fact of harmonics suppose in circuit breakers you must be knowing that we operate circuit breaker at zero i mean voltage uh, sorry uh, we find zero position of my waveform so if i have a harmonics which is which is having higher frequency suppose in my second harmonics uh, if this is my fundamental second will be something like this okay second will be something like this so i am getting zeros more times so i double i mean double times than the fundamental waveform so what this will cause this will cause my uh, interruption of uh, the circuit breakers anonymously i mean i do not want my circuit breaker to operate here but uh, due to the logic of getting zero current zero position my circuit breaker will operate here so this will be the uh, uh, this will be the con of the uh, waveforms Uh, distorted waveforms in correct in correct readings of meter i am having something else value and i am getting some other value to the, those things miss operation of protective relays interference with telephone circuits okay random circuit breaker tripping all this will affect my position okay now the, the two terms i i'd like to discuss interharmonics and subharmonics what are interharmonics frequency which are in, be, in between the integral multiple of the fundamental frequency suppose my fundamental frequency is 50 hertz multiples are 100 150 200 so what will be my interharmonics in inter harmonics 19 hertz 90 hertz 130 hertz i mean the frequency which are in between those integral multiples now what are subharmonics frequency is lesser than the fundamental frequency okay so if my fundamental frequency is 50 hertz 40 hertz or 30 hertz these will be called subharmonics okay friend now in the this this is the end of first video in the next video we'll see the effect of even harmonics thank you so much